Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. How's it going, everybody? It's Big Mike, and I am back with yet another film review. As I've stated in my last couple of reviews, I am wrapping up my reviews for the month of May 2023. Today is May 31st, 2023, and on Memorial Day Monday, I had a quadruple feature Monday. The first film I saw was the biographical comedy, Blackberry. The second one was the dramedy film, You Hurt My Feelings. And this third one is just the straight-up buddy comedy, Book Club, The Next Chapter. This film reunites the same cast as well as the same director, Bill Holderman. Bill Holderman wrote and directed this film as well as its predecessor back in 2018. The movie brings back actresses Jane Fonda, Candace Bergen, Mary Steenburgen, and of course the great Diane Keaton. The movie tells the story of uh, Jane Fonda's character who is getting married to Don Johnson. He has surprised her with a wedding in Italy and while the girls are trying to come to grips with her getting married, they figured they might as well throw a bachelorette party out there and explore Italy with places like Rome, Venice, and Tuscany. And of course, comedic hijinks ensue. Now, I will confess, I saw the very first book club film. It was one of the last films I saw when I was in Vegas. I saw that back in uh, at a Regal. I forgot which one. I think it was Colonnade 14. And I remember thinking it was solid enough. It was a very safe film. I felt that it was definitely a chick flick. And this sequel, it's more of the same. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. You know, there has to be an audience for just about any sort of film. This is definitely the kind of film that a bunch of middle-aged women can go see in a very safe way and not feel worried that there's going to be a lot of, you know, loud gunshots and explosions and way too much action. But I will confess, I will say that this film really uses its PG-13 rating very strongly because there are quite a few sexual innuendos made in the film and some of the dialogue almost matches what you would hear in an Austin Powers film. And although those were also PG-13, they really pushed the envelope with some of the material that really surprisingly almost got it an R rating. In fact, they had to appeal the second and third Austin Powers from such a rating. And I feel like the dialogue in this film, a lot of these sexual puns and innuendos, really are strong this time around. So parents, if you got little ones with you and you don't want them hearing things that they can kind of connect the dots to, I don't suggest you take them to this movie because some of the dialogue is admittedly really raunchy. But that's the worst of it because for the most part of the film, it's very light and breezy. The cinematography is nice and golden. I really liked how the film looked. It's photographed by the great Andrew Dunn. He has photographed one of my favorite action films, The Fugitive. Even though that was 30 years ago, he still shows that he's got it where it counts. I believe he also photographed The Bodyguard, which also looks really good as well. But the thing is, what makes this film work is the chemistry. I really liked seeing Candace Bergen, Jane Fonda, Mary Steen Bergen, who I especially love because we have the same birthday, February 8th, and Diane Keaton. The chemistry between these ladies is great, and I do hope that when they make the third film, I hope they just go ahead and introduce Lily Tomlin. It would be perfect, because everybody who's anybody knows, especially as gays, Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda, they go together like peanut butter and jelly, honey, and they've been in so many things together. Grace and Frankie, they recently had that movie uh, not too long ago. It was that Getting Even or Getting Over It, whatever it was called, where Jane Fonda's trying to kill Malcolm McDowell. And, of course, they were in 80 for Brady, which came out just this past April. In fact, it uh, it already had two of the uh, actresses. Or wait, no. Was Diane Keaton in 80 for Brady? I can't remember. No, I don't know. But regardless, 
it just is a good thing that a lot of these elderly old school actresses who were really big in the 70s, 80s, and 90s are still getting roles today. They show that they still got the chops to make you smile, make you laugh, and make you believe in the power of friendship. This movie is not really going to sway you in either direction with its acting or its plot. It's as formulaic as just anything can be. You know what you're getting yourself into. The trailer is linked below. If you need to see it, go for it. It don't really need to bother. But if you're fans of any of these four actresses, I think you're going to be just fine. It is an overall very safe film, just like the first one. But I will confess once again, a lot of the sexual jokes are ramped up a lot higher this time around. But I'm not going to give it points off for that. I'll give it a solid grade. And overall, I will confess, I didn't see this turning into a franchise. But here we are. All we have to do is wait for part three now, but I'm sure, especially if they keep Bill Holderman as writer-director, we can accept, expect, forgive me, to see the same quality we saw here as we did in the first one. I would say both that first book club and this one, they're both pretty solid in their own right. They're very entertaining films. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give book club the next chapter a B-. minus. It gets a minus just because some of the material feels like it's been there, seen that, and a lot of the situations they get into feel a little too convenient, and they seem to pull out of them way too easy, and it has a lot of formulaic stuff where everybody has doubts about going on the trip, and then everybody goes, they love it, then there comes that obligatory part three quarters of the way through where something bad happens, they feel regrettable, and then everything gets wrapped up in a nice happy bow in the very final minutes. But you'll still be fine with this film. I really do think so. So thank you guys so much for watching my review today of Book Club, the next chapter. It's still in theaters right now. Go ahead and go check it out. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching today. Like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to look out for my final review of May, The Machine with Burt Kresher. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you at the movies. Bye now.